Just one bite into these crispy, cheesy potato croquets is going to keep you coming back for more. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna be going in with two potatoes, which are approximately 500 grams. And I'm going in with the yellow flesh potatoes. We're just gonna peel them first because we're gonna boil them. And I like to cut them into small bits when boiling because then it boils faster. So now I'm just gonna cut it down in the center. and then into small pieces. Now let's add them to a pot. And we're gonna pour some water till it comes just above the level of the potatoes. To give the potatoes an additional flavor, I like to add two garlic cloves. We're just gonna smash them down, cut them into smaller pieces, and add them into the pot as well. Now let's add that in. Now we're going to add some salt and I'm adding about a teaspoon and a half. You can always add salt to taste. Now we're going to go over to the stove and cook the potatoes. Now on a medium heat, we're going to allow the water to come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to time it and cook the potatoes for about 10 minutes. We want to cook it till a knife inserted into the potatoes just slips right through. Now that the potatoes are cooked, we're going to drain out the water and put the potatoes with the garlic back into the hot pot and keep it over the stove, although it's off. And we're just gonna keep it here for about a minute or so, because this is gonna to help to drop all that excess water that may be there. We're gonna empty that now into a bowl. And while it's still hot, we're gonna mash it. Now that we mashed the potatoes nice and smooth, Let's season it with half a teaspoon of white pepper. And for a little kick, we're gonna add half a green chili, which I finely diced. And to that, we're gonna add a small bunch of cilantro, which we're gonna finely chop. And let's add that in. Now to help bind the croquets together, we're gonna to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now let's go in there and mix it all together. Now that all the ingredients are well mixed together, let's keep it aside and cut up the cheese. So I've got a block of 200 grams mozzarella cheese here, and we're gonna cut it into strips to put it inside the croquets. Now from this recipe, you're gonna get about 15 to 16 croquets. So let's cut that number of strips. To form the croquets, we're first gonna create a workstation. In one bowl, I've got quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And in the next bowl, I'm gonna add the whites of two eggs. By just using the whites, we're going to get an even more crispy outer covering to the croquets. And we're going to beat it up just a little bit to break down the white. And in the last bowl, I've got one cup of breadcrumbs, and into that I'm going to grate about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And this is going to add to the flavor, as also the crispiness. Okay, let's give that a quick mix. Now, because we've added the Parmesan cheese in the breadcrumbs, I've not added any salt to the all-purpose flour. But if you skip the Parmesan cheese, then just add a pinch of salt to the all-purpose flour. So that we get uniform size potato croquets, I'm going to use a trigger release ice cream scoop to scoop out the potato. So I'm going to go in for one scoop. I'm going to put it on the palm of my hand and flatten it out. Then I'm going to take one of those little logs of mozzarella cheese that we cut. And we're gonna cover it up. You can either roll it on your hand or you can roll it on the board. And once you've got it all covered up nicely and smooth, and just roll it in the all-purpose flour. The all-purpose flour is going to dry up the outside, which is going to help the egg catch on better. 
and we're going to dust off the excess. We don't want too much of that all-purpose flour. We just want a light coating of it. And now this we're going to dunk into the egg white. And use the fork and just coat it all around with it. Make sure to get the sides too because the egg is going to help the breadcrumbs catch onto the croquet. And once it's coated with the egg white all around, just going to lift it up, try to shake off any excess. And now we're going to place that into the breadcrumbs. And we're going to use our fingers and cover the top and then roll it around. Make sure you get the sides as well. And now finally, I like to roll it so that we get an even edge to it. And just give it a little press on both sides. And there, our first potato croquet is ready. And now we're going to continue the process till we finish making all the croquets. Now that we've finished shaping all the croquets, let's go over to the stove and fry them. We're going to be deep frying the croquets, so I've heated up some oil in our deep pot. And when you insert a bamboo skewer, when bubbles come up to the surface, you know that the oil is hot and you're ready to go. I'm just going to lower two of them down at a time. I'm just going to do four at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pot and I don't want the temperature of the oil to drop. And we're going to keep turning them around so that they get nice and golden brown all around. And now it's got a lovely golden color. So we're going to take them out and put them on a paper towel to drain. I'm going to continue frying the rest. This is a great prep ahead meal or a snack. You can prepare them right till the stage before you have to fry them. Refrigerate them or freeze them and then bring them to room temperature before you fry them. Oh my goodness, look at that. Are you ready? It's time to give our potato croquets a taste. Wow, I have to do this. I love to see that cheese pull, just see that. Check that out. Mmm. But these are such an amazing snack to make. They can be enjoyed during summer when you have a get together, during winter when you're feeling cold, or even during the monsoons when you just want to feel a little bit more cozy. They're crisp on the outside and soft on the inside with that cheesy surprise. If you want to enjoy these as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.